So today we're going to take a quick look at how to work with blocks in ProjectCAD 2008 Professional. Uh, first of all, let's create a block. So we'll just pick a few shapes here and um, we'll turn them into a block. So let's say from that point there. Alright, something very simple, um, not too difficult. Alright, so we'll just trim that shape down so that it, um, it looks a bit better. There we are. Okay, now to create a shape in Project Hand, you simply use this tool here called Make Block. Okay, firstly we're going to select a base point, which I will use the bottom left hand corner, and then we will select the entities um, that will be used in the block. So the circle and the square as we've created. Okay, then we will call it, give the block a name. So let's call this one block two. And that's it, there you have it. A block in Project Hat. Now if you have a look here in this window, this will give you the uh, uh, block properties, the block name, the angle of rotation, and different type of scale settings we've used. So it's very simple to create a block. Now what we'll do is we will insert a block that we um, created previously. So here, above the make command is the insert block command. So from that we'll select the first block we've created. Now after that it will give you a few options, one concerning positioning, and one concerning um, uh, multiple copies or array, uh, arraying of the block. Firstly let's look at the positioning. So we can manually specify the position and also whether or not to explode the block once we've inserted it into the job. Um, but for this I'll tick the box and we will do it manually. Um, then also you've got the multiple block command which allows you to add copies in. Uh, for the purposes of this exercise we'll just insert the one block. So click insert and here we have uh, the block that we created earlier. Now it'll ask you for the insertion point as you can see in the command bar. So we will snap that to the top right hand corner there and also the scale factor. Now if you don't want to change anything um, all you have to do is hit enter here a few times firstly for the X and for the Y um, and it will keep the block the way that it was created. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, now if we zoom out a bit, there we go. Uh, on the bottom here is the block that we created um, from a couple of entities that we drew. And um, the one on the top right here is one that we inserted from an earlier job. Um, so now that we have these two blocks in our job, we might go ahead and just make a couple of changes just to show you how easy it is using Project Hand to alter any blocks that you have uh, created. Firstly, let's just say for example we'd like to uh, um, add another circle over here and balance balance this sh odd looking shape out. So there we go, let's put in another circle. Again, let's do some trimming. So we have a new shape. Now, um, with ProjectCAD, when you create a block and you delete it from the job, it does not automatically delete the block. So you can reinsert it at a later date. But what we want to do here is redefine this block. So change the block so that it brings through these changes. So again, we'll go to the make block function. And again, let's select our base point. And also um, what we want to use to create the block. Okay. Now, if we choose the same name again, so for this one we call it a block two. Okay. So block two. Let's try that again. Block two. It will bring up an error. Now, this is pretty common. All we have to do is say redefine, hit OK, and our new block looks like this. So that wasn't too tricky, I mean it does bring up an error message but in the end it is not too hard to uh, change a block that you have already redef uh, that you have already defined in Project Cat. Um, yeah. 
Another great feature to do with blocks in Project CAD Professional is the ALE library. The ALE library is designed to help you sort and organize blocks that you commonly use in all of your drawings. It also comes in the professional version with a set that have been designed by Project CAD themselves. So let's just take a quick look at the library itself and how it all works. As you can see there are a few categories and they are sorted into different subcategories. Basically it will have everything you need to speed up the design of your drawing. So to quickly insert something, let's just say this one here, all we have to do is hit the insert button and it will prompt us on where we would like to place it. You also notice down here it has a couple of other options. We can rotate uh, the part that we're inserting and also scale it up or down. And this option is great for when you have to insert more than one part. So let's just untick this so that we can see exactly how it works if we hit insert here. There you go, there's the part there, and that's it, all done. If you would like any more information on the products that you've seen in this video, please visit the Cadet website at www.cadet.net.